Hey guys, how's it going? It is Haley of Moth Child Cosplay and it has been a hot minute. Full transparency, last two years with COVID and everything really kicked my ass. Um, and even before that, it was just kind of hard getting into everything. Like as we were moving to our new home and setting up my new workshop, um, everything just felt like really up in the air and tossed around and jumbled and it never really felt right to sit down and make a vlog, but here we are. Um, I am going to be getting back into vlogging. That's going to be happening. I'm going to be posting every Wednesday. This is coming out on a Thursday slash Friday because I basically was going to record this on Tuesday and then again on Wednesday and got really caught up with real life things that needed to be handled. Regardless, irregardless, irregardlessly, we are here, we are situated, and we're pretty ready to get back into the standard flow of how things used to be. Oh my gosh, almost three and a half, four years ago. Um, but we're gonna talk with like the big thing that's really been um, big on my agenda. It's been taking up a lot of my mental, like my thought time, you know? I only get like two hours of actual critical thinking a day and then the brain shuts off. And this has been taking up like an hour and a half of that. Um, and that's been TwitchCon. I, this year, 2022, have tried out for TwitchCon. This is my second time trying out. The first time that I tried out was in 2020 when they were doing the TwitchCon online. Um, so basically they were like, we don't actually have any proof that you streamed. Which I thought was kind of poopy caca, but whatever. Like, I get it. I didn't meet the rules. I didn't meet the qualifications. This year, though, I think that I did. Think is the keyword because I'm sure there is something really stupid that I like overlooked in the rules. There actually is one thing that has been kind of concerning me um, in regards to the rules, and I already submitted. By the time that this goes up, we're like, we're almost to the date that they announce everything. So, like, whatever. You know, either it happens or it doesn't. But what has been concerning me is that. In their rules, they have a, a stipulation about the costume can't be older than one year prior to the actual date of TwitchCon. And as if any of you have been following me for a while, you know that I've actually been working on Magda, that's the headdress right there, for on and off about two years. Um, Magda was started in 20, like December of 2020. Um, because I had the intentions of entering her in TwitchCon 2021, back when we weren't sure how long COVID was going to last and then nothing happened 2021 so i put it to the side and was like oh we'll try again for 2022 and that's where we are now um virtually every single piece of magda that was made in 2020 that like one month of 2020 and honestly like every single thing that was made in 2021 has been or is getting remade um or heavily modified like i had to basically take apart this entire headdress the black base portion to refit it to my head and my throat because it didn't fit me correctly um the neck piece is getting remade entirely uh the corset has gone through three iterations we are on the third iteration of the corset i hate that so much the skirt didn't get started until after like really 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 late 2021 i think um and even then like i've made modifications to it and adjusted it like it didn't even the skirt wasn't like it didn't have a waistband it wasn't done none of this was done which is kind of what i'm hoping they'll see and be like all right you know it's not a finished costume technically it was started two years ago but it's whatever it's fine because it's not a completed costume um but regardless of whether or not i get accepted to twitchcon whether or not that's like a stipulation that does apply and um it's no longer qualified i'm really happy with my work on this costume uh magda is looking beautiful i will scooch over and insert like a little video right here of me wearing this costume this thing is gorgeous i am absolutely obsessed with it i am honestly kind of glad that i took two years that i was able to take a step back and like look at everything super objectively and not being stuck with the whole i just spent 15 hours working on this piece and it doesn't look how i want um i was really able to to step back and be like i spent 15 hours on this a year and a half ago and it's okay at best and it can be improved by doing x y and z and then executing those improvements i think that that really has um up the quality of the costume uh and i'm super excited to get around whether or not we go to twitchcon to getting around to finishing it and wearing it to some sort of event we'll find out um i have also worked on another costume i actually don't have any finished photos of me wearing this costume but i'm gonna scooch over and we're gonna put some photos right here this is a diablo four sorceress if you have been following me for a while you will know this is my third Diablo 4 sorceress costume. Um, 
I have not posted them on YouTube really because like I said, I stopped really making vlogs around two years ago, but I went to BlizzCon in 2019, um, saw some fan, not fan art, sorry, saw some concept art for some designs for the Sorceress from Diablo 4, and I fell madly in love. And I have basically, I've done three out of, I think there's like six known designs that are out, not including the base design that, you know, the character selection screen, because that's, that's a little too boring for me. Sorry. Um, but yeah, and I, I, I do have plans to do another one. <laughs> I am unstoppable. It's a problem. It's the same thing with like Sally Waitman, which by the way, another Sally Waitman costume. Photos here. It's the same sort of thing with Sally Waitman where I latch on to a character or an idea or a concept and I want to make literally every single variation of that character. Um, I did the very similar thing with Bloodborne. I made three Bloodborne costumes three years in a row, wore them, loved them, took photos in them, stopped. Um, Sally Whitemane isn't going to be getting another costume again this year, I don't think, just because of how everything's working out. I am going to be traveling for work and I'll be like out of the state for like six months starting very soon so I won't really be able to do any sort of really really big projects like what's going to be necessary for Sally Whitemane um, but I am going to be hopefully after I finish up with Magda um, starting Coven Ash from League of Legends. I love Ash. Ash is one of those characters that I'm actually really surprised that I didn't give it the Sally Whitemane uh, treatment because she was the first character I ever played in League of Legends and I just, I loved her. Any woman that has a big bow and arrow set and pretty armors, it's just like, I'm in love with, that's my thing. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, starting next week, we're going to be getting back into the sort of routine of how vlogs used to be with, uh, you know, I would sit down, I would talk about what I did for the past week. I would uh, sometimes make like vlogs of me doing stuff. We're gonna get back into that. Um, this upcoming week, I am going to be doing some leather working. So I might sit down and try to record some of that. I'm not a very good leather worker. I really do not know what I'm doing and I'm learning as I go. So don't take any of what I say regarding leather working at face value because it will very likely be wrong. Um, but I am making some demi gauntlets for my husband as well as a really cool helmet for his goblin character at a LARP that we attend called Myth. I am going to be making him uh, this really, really cool cloak kind of a work in progress right now. Uh, we'll discuss that later this week, but it's gonna have some really cool fur. And then I'm making a surprise for a friend of mine that's not gonna go into this week's video, but I think that I'm gonna record the entire process because it's very similar to something that I made for another project, which everybody asked me questions about. So I think that'd be a really, really helpful video for people. Granted, this costume was like five years ago, so probably nobody cares anymore about it, but give the people what they, wanted five years ago. Make them happy. Now, when I should have done that five years ago. Regardless, irregardless, irregardlessly, um, we have a lot of catching up to do. And if you wanna chat with me, feel free to comment. I don't really get a lot of comments here. I don't get a lot of views because it's been so long. I mean, honestly, every month I get like a little email and it's like, this is what your YouTube channel has done in the past month. And it's kind of hilarious. Some months it's like honestly very surprising. I'll get a couple of thousand views. I'm like, where did these come from? What are you doing? Why are you watching these old videos? In the other months I'm like, man, ah, that's a dead channel right there. But um, we're going to try to Christ-like rise it from the grave. Um, we're well beyond the three day time limit to really truly be the Christ of YouTube. Um, <laughs> but three years is the same thing, right? Right? Um, anyway, guys, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in this week. Um, next week on Wednesday, we should have a video. Uh, I'm not sure of the kind of format that it's going to be, whether it'll be this format or like I said, like a daily sort of like vlog thing, like what I've done in the past for Patreon or what, but we're going to try to get back into the swing of that. Um, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for sticking around uh, if you're still subscribed. Thank you for remembering me. If you're still subscribed and you saw the notification and went, oh my gosh, and then clicked it, like that's really, really kind of you. Um, I hope that all of my stuff, which is going to be the same because I made that stuff so long ago and I put a lot of hard work into it, brings you a lot of nostalgia from when I used to make videos all the time. And uh, that's it.
Uh, I will see you guys next week. And if I don't see you next week, maybe I'll see you at a convention. I will be going to MAGFest in January and Katsu in February, very likely, if I can get rooms. Eyebrow dance. Goodbye. <laughs>